And we're showing you Route 30 behind us right in here. We're near the Roarstown exit of Route 30 and traffic has picked up much more than just an hour ago when we last checked in with you. But PennDOT's plan still hasn't changed for now. It had a full crew come on at 4 o'clock. The plows are on the trucks. The salt is loaded up. But PennDOT has just decided not to pre-treat any roadways because it expects a dry snow to fall first. And it says that if it put that melting material down, then the snow would melt into water and that would refreeze and cause problems. So instead, PennDOT plans to wait until that snow starts to fall. So it says it's really planning to ramp up it's work starting around midnight tonight. So when the snow does eventually fall, that's when it will go out and start to treat those roads in hopes of it not becoming like an ice skating rink out here, which is what one of the PennDOT supervisors told me could happen if they pre-treated the roads too early. They want you to be really careful, though, in shaded areas like uh, on the ramps and on the bridges and make sure that if you do see that it's just raining outside, don't be fooled. Those roads could still be frozen. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8. Well, York County is also preparing for the potential of snow and ice overnight. News 8's Barbara Barr has been talking to PennDOT and is live from Route 30 in Manchester Township. Well, this is the calm before the storm right now. Janelle, of course, the precipitation expected this evening when we're sleeping, but it's when we wake up that has PennDOT concern, and that's why here in York County, they had about 75 plows out already today pre-treating the roads, including Route 30, you see behind me, interstates and side roads with a salt brine mixture. Now, this storm expected to bring a lot of ice as well overnight, or at least some. PennDOT says crews will be out in force. They'll be treating throughout the night, focusing on parts of the county that could see more ice. A little icing coming in tomorrow morning, but uh, mainly the icing is going to be like up in the northern tiers of county. And uh, we're pretty good down this area, but we'll be ready. We have, like I said, we have the salt brine out. Our trucks will be out patrolling the whole time and uh, we'll be ready for it. And they are keeping an especially close eye on that northern area around Dillsburg for perhaps a little more ice than some of the other parts, especially around York City. And of course, it's a busy shopping weekend, shopping morning, so they're hoping maybe motors will uh, sleep in, take it easy, come out a little later, and give them a chance to uh, clear any ice off the roads in the early morning hours. I'm Barbara Barr, live outside York City for News 8. And now into Dolphin and Cumberland counties and how those counties plan to handle the potentially slick roads. News 8's Justin Betty is live in Swatera Township. Yep, we're looking down on 283 right now, which naturally is looking pretty smooth right now. In fact, even for Trent for rush hour, it's looking pretty good. Snow won't be here for a few hours. Yeah, I talked to Dolphin County PennDOT. They're not even in yet. They're bringing their staff later when the snow is closer to coming in. Talked to Cumberland County PennDOT. They said they already pre-treated the roads earlier today, so that's taken care of. They do have a crew on now. They have a full crew coming in at midnight to give them some break and uh, be prepared for when the real meat of this storm comes overnight. They expect the biggest issue to be tomorrow morning with the ice, that freezing rain and then the melting snow kind of combining. That's their biggest issue. They still watch out for some tight turns, kind of the slicker roadways, the areas, the elevated roadways that might freeze more easily. They're the things they're most worried about. And they expect to have their team on throughout the night and into tomorrow until completely uh, turns into rain and, and the roads become much more passable. Back to you guys.